Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to play any kind of game using your USB gamepad. As many of you know, there are too many new games that require the Xbox 316 gamepad, which is quite expensive compared to the generic USB gamepad. So, I will give you two solutions to manage to play any game using the gamepad. USB gamepad. So let's start with the first solution. So you need to download a program. I will leave you the links of downloads in the descriptions. So I've already downloaded this file. It's a WinRAR file. It's called hacked, hacked gamepad by Sarf Gamer. So you need to extract this file. Right click extract to hack the gamepad by Sarat Gamer. So here it is after extraction double click and open the application. So here it is. It asks you to create this file. Yes. Another file click yes. As you can see these files are new created so this no need for this one you hit cancel also this one hit cancel so as you can see this is an xbox 316 controller emulator application so what does this basically do it tricks your game to detect your gamepad as if it is an xbox 316 gamepad so when you detect when you open your game you can notice that the game does not detect your USB gamepad with the newest game so with this emulator application the game will detect your USB gamepad as if it is an Xbox 316 controller which is quite good so first of all you need to go to controller 1 then you click on presets then you choose the Philips wireless PC controller option so as you can see Philips wireless PC controller and you click on load so I have already connected my gamepad my USB gamepad to my PC and I'm checking the buttons it's already working so after loading click on save once you click on save don't close this application yet so you need to copy these four files then you go to the shortcut of the installed game on your desktop for example need for speed underground you right click on the shortcut and go to open file location <coughs> sorry guys so now you need to pass these four files here click past I will not do this because I've already done this as you can see here now you can close this application so make sure to close this application before starting playing your game and we are done with the first solution well this solution will work for 19% of the games so make sure that it's not an old game so if it's a new game then you're good to play your game with your gamepad with your USB gamepad so now for the old games and some other games like Resident Evil Zero I remember I couldn't play my game with the USB gamepad so even I tried the first solution it didn't work so I need to show you the second solution which is this program which is called joy to key so I also try, try to download this program and it's also a an, uh, mirror file so you need to extract it to desktop as I did so once you extract this file double click click run 
so as you can see this program will trick your game as if when you play with your gamepad as if you are playing with keyboard so this will reassign the keyboard keys to the gamepad keys or buttons so these are the button of your gamepad as you can see here and these will be the keys reassigned of your keypad keyboard so first of all need to click on file then click on new and here you're, you're going to name the, this new profile with the name of the game you, you're trying to play so for example Middle of Honor and you click OK so first of all guys you need to know which keys the game requires you to play with on your keyboard so to know the exact keys you need to go to launch the game and then go to the option then go to keyboard or controller where you can see the keys assigned to play the game with on your keyboard so either you need to memorize these keys or I'll show you a way how to memorize them so you need when you launch your game you'll go to options as I told you and you go to keyboard configuration or settings then you need to print screen by using the print screen key on your keyboard there's a key on your keyboard called print screen so you need to push that button and you need to close your game and you go to paint program so all programs accessories and paint here we go you open paint and this will be you'll pass this click on past and when you pass this sorry here you will have the image captured from your desktop so you this image I will show you later you will have the keys you need to assign to your gamepad so once you click on past you save as jpeg picture you choose desktop which make it easy for you to locate the picture so and you name it for example for this game middle honor so you choose middle honor keys for example and you click save I will not do this also because I've already done it so close paint search for the picture in on your desktop so here it is so as you can see these are the keyboard keys that I need to play my game with so we need to keep this open go back to joy to key and now we'll do the assignments as you can see edit button assignment or it is very simple here you can double click for example these are the directions so the directions on my keyboard are the left arrow the right arrow the up and down arrow so you need to double click on this and hit or click on the left arrow of your keyboard then ok for the right dimension or direction you need to assign it to the right arrow of your keyboard then ok for the app the same sorry for this so for the app for the down direction so then hit ok now we'll move to the other keys for example I need to run or walk using left shift so 
guys you need to choose which keys or which buttons for your gamepad to play your game with so for example I want to run my player with button number 4 so double click on button 4 and then click on shift on your keyboard and then hit ok so the use button for example is assigned to the letter E on my keyboard so I want to to use the button number 3 for the use so double click click E on your keyboard and then OK for the reload it's assigned to the letter R so I'll go for example I want to reload my guns with the button number 7 on my gamepad so double click sorry double click then hit the R key on your keyboard and OK so now we are done with this game so it depends on the number of keys of your keyboard on each game so it depends really on the game itself so it will not take so many, so many time and once you're done with creating this new profile you right click on it and then you click save now you can minimize this program just keep in mind you, ki you need to keep it running while playing your game unlike the first solution so this will keep running while you are playing your game so and when you are done with playing your game you can then exit this program you can right click and terminate your key so now we're done with both solutions guys I'm sure this will help you as it did help me I'm sure you can play now any game using your USB gamepad with no problems so most of the games that I told you will work with the first solution you will not need maybe this long and tiring maybe program so the newest games would work with the first solution but if you are trying to to go back to sweet memories and play old games then you need this joy to key program as I told you so hope this is clear guys hope it will help you and let me know if it helps you or not and if there is if there are any questions feel free to ask me and I will be glad to answer them so this is that's all for today that's all for this video see you soon in the next video peace